This space is a gateway subject into the sciences. All of these, physics, planetary geology, biology, chemistry, medicine, all of this matters when you go into space. So it is the ideal driver of STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math. And STEM fields are the engines of tomorrow's economy. So you want to become an innovation nation? Engage in some space projects. I'm old enough to remember this. It was all about the future. Just the feeling that that was. I wasn't even, I didn't even know I wanted to be an astrophysicist yet, but I was being imprinted. This is the, the Unisphere in World's Fair in New York City with three rings around it, evocative of the three orbits of John Glenn. It was all about the future. Then we started acting on this. We, the movies, 2001, A Space Odyssey, a rotating space station. We started thinking of tomorrow. What will tomorrow look like? And I'm looking at some of these tall buildings on the right-hand side. This is all nationalities migrating to this city of the future. And I'm looking at that city of the future, and I'm saying, some of those buildings look like what you got outside here in Dubai. <laughs> I'm thinking, y'all already made the city of the future. There, I swear that building is in the other drawing. I swear. And by the way, this is drawing on what is already a legacy from the golden age a thousand years ago. You're not pulling this out of nothing. It's got a precedent. Every time I have an occasion, back in the United States, I tell people, what do we call our numerals? Arabic numerals. <laughs> Algebra, algorithm, these are Arabic words. I remind everyone back in the United States. From an era where people thought about the future and thought about what role science and technology would play. To lead the world in science, technology, engineering, and math. So whether or not you colonize, the very fact that space is on your agenda will transform your present and the future 